Hey, Peace Collective, this is Candace Green. I am happy to be here with you on October 1st. New season, new month, new opportunity for God to do some amazing and miraculous things in our lives. Um, I'm back with you, walking through Inhale Peace, a 31 day journey to realign with God's peace. We're gonna be walking through the devotional like we did back in July, uh, every day, October 1st through October 31st. And God has some new things for us. I asked God, you know, should I repost what I've already put up? And God said, no, I wanna do a new thing. New messages, new insight, new revelation comes uh, through reading the devotional. So that's what we are going to do. Something new, a new thing. and. I'm excited about what God is gonna bring forth for all of us. Uh, before we get into the book though, I wanna ask you a question. Have you been taking your peace breaks? Have you been moving away from your desk, the phone, the email, the meetings, just to take a moment to realign with the peace of God? If you have not, then you must schedule time on your day just to realign with God's peace, to inhale peace and exhale everything else so you can restabilize, recalibrate, uh, and realign with God's peace so you can finish your day out strong uh, with the peace of God. It doesn't have to be one time a day. It can be multiple times a day. I'm just asking that you try it one time. And when you try it, you'll get hooked because then you'll know, hey, I'm stressed out right now. What do I do? I need to go breathe. I need to go outside. I need to regroup. And God is going to meet you right there in that peace break. So take your peace breaks if you're not already. All right, I'm ready to dive into this thing. But before we do, we are going to take our moment just to breathe and connect together. So if you would, close your eyes and let's inhale peace. And exhale fear. Inhale peace. And exhale stress. Peace. And exhale, worry. So here we are, day one of Inhale Peace, a 31 day journey to realign with God's peace. And the scripture says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. That's Colossians 3:15. So this whole entry is all about baggage letting go of the baggage we hang on to so much stuff our stuff our parents stuff everybody else's stuff our children's stuff uh, that we end up weighed down with everyone else's things with the past with things that happened to us uh, experiences the things that we have taken on to shield us uh, from hurt and pain and God is saying it's time to let go of those things it's time to release those things because he can't give us what he needs to give us if we're still holding on to those things. In order for God to give us those things and for us to release those things, we must spend some time removing the layers and removing the baggage, taking off those things that have been hindering us and binding us and keeping us constricted from what and opening up to what God has for us and it's not easy release is not easy making the decision to release is not easy and if you need some help if you need um, some therapy or some counseling there is absolutely nothing wrong with that you can be a Christian you can be a faith-filled person and seek help mental help mental um, counseling uh, to help you to get through these seasons in your life. Uh, that's why God has placed the gift of counseling in people in order to help us. We've got to learn how to walk in the newness that God has for us, which means operating with the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control. Um, those are the things that God wants to instill within us and place within us, but we cannot have God's peace if we're unwilling to release the pain of the past, everybody else's baggage, um, the things that have kept us bound. If we're not willing to open up and release, then 
and God can't do what he needs to do in our lives. Take off the old you and embrace the new you in Christ Jesus. Seek after release. Seek after it. Be open to it. Let God change your mind, the way you think and the way you speak, because that is how the change begins to happen. It's one step at a time, one day at a time, day by day, step by step. And I know that with the help of God, we can get there. I hope this message does resonate with you for day one of our journey through the devotional. I'll be here for the next 30 days. Uh, whether I'm outside or inside, doesn't matter. You gotta meet me here. Whether it's the morning, the afternoon, or the night. Whenever you're watching this, whenever uh, God leads you to watch it, just know he is with you and he can help you to release that baggage. If you need a copy of Inhale Peace, a 31 day journey to realign with God's peace, head over to my website, cherishedflight.com. Click on CF Shop and you can order your copy and I'll get it right in the mail to you. And also I have on my website these free uh, Peace Break Rat Cards. So if you order a book, you'll get one in your book. But if you don't have one and you want to download a copy of one of these, uh, put it up on your uh, wall at work or at home or uh, in your classroom, wherever you may be, head over to my website and uh, you can click on um, Inhale Peace and they will be there for you to download. I hope you'll join me uh, for the rest of the month and um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the new things God is going to bring forth through this series as we walk through it together. All right, everybody, I got to head into work, but I hope you have an amazing day and may the peace of God settle into your spirit.